Scorpio, what's going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to Mama Faya Tarot. You actually tied with Cancer, but because it was their birthday, I let them go first. I know you won't mind. So thanks again for tuning in. And if you've already liked, shared, and subscribed some of my videos, um, or subscribed to the channel and shared some of my videos and liked them, um, I really, really appreciate you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can find that information in the description box below, the little arrow. Um, you can also find info on my adorable romper from White Witch Vintage or this beautiful necklace from GreenWitchHome.com. Um, with GreenWitch, you can actually save 10% using a discount code MAMAFAYA. Um, also, um, oh, she has sage, too. I meant to mention it in my last video. I was talking to Cancer about sage. Um, also, um, you can find personal readings in the description box below with everybody in mind. Um, I'm also booking parties through there, so if you have a group of people that would like to join, it's all through Zoom. So it would be, you know, real interactive. You can ask questions and whatever. So check out the website for that information. Also, you can get video recorded readings through wissio.com. Again, in the description box below. So, all right, Scorpio, let me get into your reading. Enough with the description box below. And, um... Yeah, what was I going to say? This is going to be an abundance reading for you guys. Um, I am logged into um, the hotlines. I'm hoping I don't get a call, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and if I have to, I can pause this. But All right, Scorpio. What's going on? What can my Scorpios... Oh, I forgot to pray. But I do want to talk about <clears throat> what my Scorpios can do to bring in more abundance. So, dear Father God, Mother Gaia, Highest Self, Spirit Guides and Angels... Please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest vibrational beings and blocking any negative energies from entering this sacred space, so mo it be. All right. I told you guys I'd get that memorized one of these days. Oh, I have like a ha hair tickling me. All right. Sorry, guys. I just cannot. Cannot deal with that feeling. Um, I'm wondering if I have like sensory answers. Ooh, okay. I got enough cards so I don't have to shuffle anymore. Go slow, though, Scorpio, whatever it is. Set your sights higher. So this is the Spy Kid. Um, I don't know if the Spy Kid is even relevant to your abundance. What I do think is setting your sights higher, going to the next level, is the message we got to take from the Spy Kid today, not the traditional one that I normally take. Um, it's funny, I call mine the traditional one when it says set your sights higher. Uh, Scorpios, I really want you shooting for the stars right now. Um, really putting in the effort. Dream and journey. Wow. You may be having, this is my prophetic dreamer, um, Karn. You can listen to those dreams. That's real. I mean, strong, strong energy. Uh, whatever you're dreaming about, definitely write it down. And if you're dreaming of certain places or people, you can trust whatever messages you get in Scorp. Ooh. Yeah, Guardian, shift your perception. So maybe you're seeing these dreams or... Or maybe you're seeing yourself as stuck where you're at, you know, and you're not. You're not. You've got to change the way you see that because you absolutely can make plans and focus and change things as long as you are focused on it and see beyond the current situation. These are all like I'm getting the same messages over and over again, and I'm sorry to be redundant, but really take the time to think about what it is that you need to do and then do it, Scorpio. You have so much control over this situation and your own abundance that it's all about you. This is all about you, Scott. So focus on the plan and get it done. Okay? Get that motivation up. Uh, definitely sleep. Get your sleep. Ooh, Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Um, you know, the Page of Pentacles... Maybe you feel like you're not making as much money as you should be right now, and a lot of people are in that in that boat. I mean, we're going through a major recession, so you may have to get creative and, and you know, start from scratch. This is some start from scratch energy. Um, and that's what is um, sometimes necessary. I'm not going to take those. I felt like 12 cards. It didn't feel right. That's right. Eight of Wands. But you've got to move quickly. So stay graceful, right? 
be logical, be focused, but move fast. And whatever messages are coming in from the universe, listen to them. You can trust your intuition with the Sia here. She comes out for usually with people who have strong psychic gifts of their own. And Scorpio, you're known. You're well known. Woo! Of course the Knight of Swords goes flying onto the chair. You need to move quickly. And <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Scorpio. Uh, it's almost like you're having a hard time verbalizing what you want to do, though. So... If you're a light worker or a tarot reader or anything like that, now's your time to shine. And you may be getting offers from places and you're not 100%, you're not taking them. And I mean, yeah, there's definitely, you have to, you know, be discerning, but you also have to accept help when it's, when it's offered. That's a strong message today. Yeah, because you're at the nine right now. And it does seem, my Scorpios, whatever it is that you set your mind to, you're going to succeed. And maybe you do need to pass some people by or pass some opportunities by. But be discerning. Don't pass them all by. Because there's definitely some good ones, you know. And you don't want to be, ooh, that's a lot of cards. But Ace of Swords showed itself real strongly. So don't, don't push everybody away. Accept help when it's offered to you, Scorpio. Ooh, okay. Whoa, that is crazy because this came out for cancer in a different, in a different uh, deck. Wow. Wow. You might be dealing with a cancer, um, but Scorpio, have patience to know that, like, that's a lot of um, Sagittarius energy. Like I said, look, you can see they're still together in this deck. I'm going to have to shuffle this deck a lot. But what, um, what's interesting is that the, the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance coming out, be patient with divine timing. That's what I'm getting for you real strongly, being patient with divine timing. Oh, Five of Wands wanted to come out. Um, that's, there's competition out there. There's no doubt. And, you know, there's definitely um, conflict that comes with that. But you don't have to give in to that either. Be very patient right now, Scorpio. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Things are not going the way you want them to go right now. And what I want you to do is keep your chin up and come up with a new plan of action, though. A new plan of action is needed here because what you're doing is just spinning your wheels a little bit in one place Scorpio and you've got to adapt I think there's there's adaption energy here whoa and that's when you'll get your second chances that's the judgment energy that's when you want yeah Ooh, Scorpio at the bottom of the deck oh I just noticed five of wands at the bottom of the deck here there is a lot of conflict and you may need to let go with some people for real but you also need to accept help when it's offered to you and understand, Scorpio, when when it's a good option and when it's a not good option. I am still getting really strong start from scratch energy here. Whoa. Yeah, Knight of Swords twice. You need to get out of where it is you are. Whoa, the tower. Okay. Oh, my ear. Oh, my God. My ear is so itchy. Holy crap. Okay. So... You need to let it go. Whatever it is that you're working on right now, you're just spinning your wheels and you need to find an, something different to do. It's like, yeah, and where you're collaborating with other people, but you still have time to relax and rest where it's not everything. Collaborate with people. Like, that's going to be a big one for you, uh, Scorpio. Um, Six of Cups, and it could be people from your past, too. I mean, Mercury Retrograde. Or that's what's jacking you up, you know, is messing with people from your past. And you need to stop doing that. You need to work with other people. Make plans and focus. Get out of where it is you are. Yep. Chariot at the bottom of the deck just to freaking confirm. All right. This is an interesting reading, Scorpio. It's a little all over the place, but what I want you to do is I think it's all over the place because you're all over the place. 
Focus on one thing and make that successful. That's what you've got to do. And, and not feel like you've got to take care of a million other things. There, there needs to be a level of, yeah, cut some of those, the stuff that doesn't serve you. That's what's going to bring in abundance. I uh, usually am all for multiple streams of income, clearly. But I do think that, um, you know, for you guys, you got to start from scratch. Damn. And just start and focus on that one thing. Just throw the business plan out and start new. Whatever it is you are working on. Um, and I know that's scary, Scorpio. But you know what? If anybody can handle some a huge transformation like that, it's you. Yeah, have patience with yourself and others. Temperance came out twice. But be firm. Okay? It's There's, there's a... Temperance in knowing what's for you, temperance in getting rid of what's not, the sun at the bottom of the deck. You do have abundance coming in, Scorp. Okay, you'll be just fine. Your reading is going really fast, which is good. Let's see. It's flowing. I mean, you've got to use your strengths, though, to bring up that patience. Wow, power. You are very, very powerful. Por porson? person Scorpio you're very very powerful and you scare most people and I think you really need to understand that it's not easy being as intense as you are you know but also as caring as you are and you need to balance those things out and really just channel that power into one thing right now Get less scattered. Get a little more organized. Let's see. What else? What else for Scorpio? Father or Earth. Yeah. Buckle down and, and make that shmoney, Scorpio. That's what this is about. And it's about being disciplined and not giving in to the scattered energy that wants to just take you away from your task. I mean, that's so strong, Mercury in retrograde energy, too, that um, I hate that feeling, that scattered feeling, that ADHD feeling. Yeah, get real. Know that you can be your own boss, too, if you need to be, and just focus on being your own boss. Know that you're an authority in your field and that you have some real power. Work. Work, baby, work. What is that? What is that from? I don't even know. All right, let me wrap this up. Patriarchal. What do you got for my Scorps, my beautiful Scorpios, who are big supporters of my channel? I love you guys. Thank you so much. Let's see. I am of two Scorpios, you guys. Changes. Yeah. Changes are right. I mean, you know, you're going to have to make some major, major changes here. I love when... Uh, when these really just wrap up what I was saying. Don't be afraid of change. You guys aren't. And listen to your dreams, man. This is what I was saying in the beginning. Follow your dreams. Shoot for the stars, Scorpio. You can't lose, baby. You can't lose. When you travel in a new direction, really focus that energy. Uh, some of my Scorpios might be writing a book. That would be dope. I wrote a book, guys. So I should put that in the fucking description box. I have the rest of my life in the damn description box. Anyway, if you're writing a book, it's just you got to just do it. There's no other way. And you could be getting ideas in your dreams, which is dope. Um, please just make that big change and start from scratch. Don't be scared, Scorpio. If anybody can handle it, it's you guys, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for the likes, the shares, and subscribes you've already shown me. Please continue. I'd love to see, you know, the numbers grow. And um, please let me know if this resonated with you. And if you'd like a personal, the description box, the description box. All right. Love you guys. Bye, Scorpio.